And Jenny has been following this race closely and joins us now with a breakdown of the early results. Good evening. Tammy, good evening. Early results are in tonight for the runoff special election. There's only two candidates, both Republicans. The AP called the race 17 minutes after polls closed. They say Vince Fong has won. That's a call both candidates agree with. Fong was unavailable for an interview tonight, but here's what Mike Boudreau had to say. I've already telephoned and gave Vince a phone call and we had a very great conversation with each other and and uh, gave him congratulations. And so in this case, I don't know that moving forward uh, would be really responsible to those you know who would be spending money on me. And so we're going to have to evaluate and see what that looks like. So you're not ruling anything out when it comes to your future and that anything includes potentially endorsing Fong. That's correct. Okay. It's big news Boudreaux was considering dropping out ahead of the November general election. That election is to decide who gets the full two-year term in Congress. The candidates in that race are also Fong and Boudreaux. Now let's take a look at the numbers as they stand tonight. Statewide, about 82% of the votes are in. Assemblyman Vince Fong is leading with 60% of the vote statewide. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreaux is trailing with 40%. Results so far are similar to what we saw in the primary special election in March. March. Fong won Fresno and Kern. Mike Boudreau won Kings and Tulare. Again, that's what we're seeing tonight as well, and that is statewide. And here's a look at how voters are siding here in Kern County. Fong again in the lead with 74% of the vote. Boudreau trailing with 26%. Kern is Fong's home base. He's a native and he's represented Kern in the California Assembly for nearly a decade now. His name ID translates to votes and Kern makes up more than half the district. Many voters I spoke with tonight at the Kern GOP watch party said they chose Fong because they know and trust him. Again, the Associated Press and the New York Times are already projecting Fong as the winner in this race. He's put out a statement saying, in part, quote, I am filled with humility and gratitude tonight as early results show that voters have overwhelmingly selected me to serve as their voice in Washington, D.C. We will be talking to Fong Wednesday morning.